Hey guys, this is Brady for Wiki Game Guys. Today I'm bringing you an easy money making scheme for uh, Farming Simulator 15 on the Xbox One, also PS4, Xbox 360, all that stuff. Anyway, I'm doing this from the very beginning and we're going to be doing this in Bjornholm on easy. Um, now, when you first start the game, you're not going to have enough money, even if you sell everything and max out your credit with the bank. Uh, you're actually going to have to do a little bit of work first. Um, go ahead and start by turning on the harvester and hi hiring a worker and let him do his thing. Now, while he's doing that, go ahead and hop over into this other vehicle by using the D-pad. This is the trailer that you're going to eventually collect all the wheat from. Um, I'm not going to show you where to go and how to do this stuff. It's all done in the tutorial. I'm assuming you've played this game for more than three minutes and you kind of know what you're doing. So anyway, just kind of park it over here, get it out of the way. And oh, also go ahead and switch everything to real time. That way it actually charges you less for his efforts. So he's eventually going to come to a stop. <clears throat> he's eventually going to come to a stop and uh, put the uh, pipe out on the side of the harvester. So that's when you and the trailer, or excuse me, you and the tractor with the trailer drive over and uh, let him dump all of his seed into there. Not seed. I guess, okay, dump, dump all the harvested wheat in there. And yeah, you can drive through the wheat, through the wheat, it doesn't hurt anything. Um, yeah, once he finishes with that, you're going to drive up to the uh, payoff compound, whatever you want to call that. You know, the big hole in the ground where you dump everything and get paid. So you do that. Once you dump that, um, you're going to flip over to the next, you're going to use the D-pad, flip to the next vehicle, the one that's actually at the garage. And we're going to wait until that happens. You should have about seventeen thousand dollars. So once you get over to this guy at the garage, you're going to drive to the far end. Um, it's actually kind of hard to see unless you know where it is. So yeah, just drive to the far end, hop out, and you're going to go to the ATM right there, access it, and you're going to max out your, what you can borrow from the bank. And I think you get a max of two hundred thousand from them just to start out with. So great. Okay. Now once you do that, you're going to go into the garage and sell everything. And I think you do that by pressing the Y button um, to access the garage from anywhere. And then you're just going to sell everything you own. You don't need the harvesters. You don't need the tractors. You need capital. And I think by the end of it, I had 354000 ish Anyway, after that, you're going to go into forestry equipment and go to the far right and buy the Scorpion King. Not the... Not the uh, Buffalo, the Scorpion King. And it's a little bit more money, but it is absolutely worth it when it comes to this. So, once you have it, you're gonna hop into it, and you're still at the garage there, and you're gonna drive to the lumber yard, which is gonna be in the top left corner of the map. And I think I edited this, so you don't actually have to watch me drive there at six miles an hour. So, sit tight. Okay, now once you're there, um, you're going to go just like you did with the garage, hit the Y button and go to placeables. And if you scroll over to the right, you can actually place trees. Now, I pick a fir tree because you make more money by having longer, straighter trees with less bends. So fir trees are perfect for this. And I would have done poplars, but you can't actually cut them down with the Scorpion King. So yeah, just a fir tree, I placed it down. And you're going to do this a lot of times. So you could actually do rows of them, which you'll see in a minute. Um, but anyway, you're going to um, put the harvester right up next to the fir tree, and once you turn it on, it's going to give you, once you get close enough, turn it on, and you're also going to change, this is important, uh, once you're holding the left bumper, you can see it says change um, change cutting length, change it to 8 meters, that's as, that's as high as it goes. Now, <laughs> alright, I'll explain what just happened there. The way the Scorpion King works is once you get up next to the tree, it's going to say cut. And so you cut it, and then all it does is it slices it and latches on. But it doesn't actually have the tree fall. I didn't know that. I thought that it just latched on and it hadn't cut yet, so I hit cut again. And that's what, you're, that's what you do when you're over here. Eventually you're going, to drive to, you're going to drive the Scorpion King over to the water's edge. Don't drive in the water because you'll lose the Scorpion King. Um, but anyway, this is what you do. This is why the Scorpion King is so awesome. It cuts off, cuts off all the branches, eight meters, yeah, eight meters long, and dumps it in the water. And each time you do it, you get a lot of money. And I think it averages about sixty thousand a tree. Now that first log is still over there. And yes, I'm an idiot, and I left it in this video to show you that it's funny. A, 
but also that the tractor will ride itself if you do something stupid like that. Anyway, eventually you're gonna have all these stumps, and that's where you're gonna go back into the garage. We're gonna buy a tractor and then a stump. I think it's a stump grinder or a stump driller. Uh, as long as you buy a tractor with the dual fork on the front end, the stump driller will attach to it. So buy a tractor, back out, and it's under um, forestry again. Go to the far left and buy the absolute cheapest one you can get. And then uh, switch over to it once you get back in like, like you did before with the D-pad, just switch back over to it. Um, go ahead and attach it and then once again I edited out the driving it back over to the lumber yard. Now, like I said, you're going to have a lot of these little stumps laying around and you can't plant trees because there's stumps there. Well, this is a money making scheme so you want to be able to plant as many trees as possible. So. Go over there, use the little stump driller, clear out the stumps. And eventually, you could actually use that to get this one log that I'm sitting on right now. Uh, you could actually just push it into the water so you get credit for it. So anyway, the whole way it works out is, um, I think a fir, a fir tree costs 7000 and you get about 60000 65000 per tree. So you're making a lot of money each time, and once you do this a few times, like I said, once you get the stumps out of there, go back into placeables and go back to fir trees. And again, they're 7,000 a piece, so that's why you needed that startup to begin with. Uh, I think I placed four or six or whatever. But you just go as long as you got room, plant as many as you want, because you are going to have to maneuver around them. And that's it. For more, stay tuned to Wiki Game Guides. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like, and as always, game on.